Okay, let's start. La last time we, we started with Y connection, start connection for the sources. And when you, when, you, when, you, when you try to find line to line voltage, line to line current, in star connection, it's the same, in delta will be different. Mm -hmm. And I'll explain in a while how can we distinguish between both kits. Last time we explained star connection for the sources, and we found out that the relationship between the line, line to line voltage and the phase. As you see in the green box, the line voltage magnitude is equal to square root of three times the, the phase uh, voltage and shifted by 30 degrees leading. The line is leading by three degrees. And then the rest would be like minus 120. What about the, the current? The current will be the same in star connection. Line current equal phase current magnitude and angle no change because if you look here at this star connected load you will see uh, a b c and we use the uppercase letter for the load and lowercase for the source so we'll observe that the current i a go to the phase i b go to the phase so they are the same no change that's why right here that the uh, the phase currents equal line current let's take uh, one example here. We need to solve this problem. It's a star connected load, and the impedance of each phase is equal to 20 ohm and the angle negative 30. It, when you have the all impedances are equal, we call this balanced load. And that's what we're going to study this semester balanced load. What is the question here? They said that the line to line voltage is 120 voltage and the, um, and the impedance is given. And they, they ask uh, for the line currents. You want to calculate the line currents, IA, IB, IC. So when you have something like that, it's easy to use something called one line diagram or equivalent line diagram equivalent one phase. You don't have to work the whole problem using the all three phases. Why? Because they are balanced, they are equal, and the only difference is the angle. So just try to find one equivalent phase and solve the problem, and then you can find the rest of the currents IB and IC. Means we are going to find only one phase IA. How we do that? We said we're going to use uh, equivalent line diagram. Let's just cut this thing and um, okay. So that's the exam it solved. So what we'll do, we'll, we'll try to find the equivalent uh, uh, phase. So we'll have Sketch only one phase. So we'll we we'll have one impedance and it's equal to any angle negative 30 ohm. Transmission line it means there is no impedance in the middle. In the practice, I, I put impedance here. You can practice this, it'll be the same. You just add it to the load impedance, and you have a voltage. We've taken one phase on it. Let's say I've taken phase A. But the voltage given here, 120 volt line to line. And you are working with one equivalent phase. What's supposed to do? 
should get the voltage of one phase. What is the relationship between line voltage and phase voltage in star connection? The line voltage is equal to square root of three times the phase. So now we want the phase because the line given. So I will say that line to line, it was given like equal 120 voltage. I don't care about the angle now. Just want to find the magnitude because I'll assume the angle. So the phase voltage will be equal to 120 divided by root 3. That will give us 69.28 voltage. You set the angle. If you assume that the line voltage on angle zero, and that's always the case, the first uh, line to line will be in angle zero, then negative 120, negative 240, and so on. So you should know the relationship between line voltage and phase voltage or the angle. I just mentioned one minute ago that the, the line voltage is leading the phase voltage by 30 degrees, right? So if the voltage, if the line voltage in angle zero, so what do you think the phase, the first phase? What will be the angle? Negative 30. Why? Because the, the line voltage leading by 30, it means that the phase is lagging. So since lagging will be negative 30. And why I'm saying negative 30? Because we assume that the line voltage given in this problem on angle zero. Why am I assuming it's equal to zero? Because it was not mentioned the angle value. So it's your right to pick it zero. So you will have the phase voltage on angle negative 30. That's the, the one phase. Yes. It's given. Yeah. So you will say that's the voltage A in. Why I'm saying A in? Because you're taking one phase and that's your N here, the neutral, connecting the old in parts of the source. And that's equal to 69.8 and angle negative 30 volts. And you got the impedance and you need to find the current, IA. IA is the phase current, that's true, but I don't worry about it because it's the same line current. So the phase current IA as a phasor is equal to the voltage AN, and it's a phasor, divided by Z. That will be 69.8 angle negative 30 divided by 20 on angle negative 30. So you get the first current. That would be the first current. It's equal to 3.464 and the angle will be zero. M. How can you find the current IB and IC and ID? First of all, this is phase current. I just did for one phase in front of us, we call it one line diagram or equivalent one line diagram or equivalent phase. So that was a phase current. But because we are working with uh, line current is equal to the phase current. So this is line current also. So that's one of the uh, question that the line current in phase A. What about the line current in phase B? You do not have to solve it or solve it. No, just you find the relationship between IB and IC and IA. What's the relationship between IB and IA when you have balanced three phase voltage? Angle, yes. What is the value of the angle, Chef? Between IB and IA? 120. So I should add 120 or subtract 120? Subtract 120, that's right. So you have 3.464 and zero minus 120 would be minus 120 degree M. I see. You can subtract another 120 from IB. So if you do that, 
three, four, six, four angle negative to 40 degree. And if you like to have a positive value, you can add almost 360 to any angle. It doesn't change the value. Just instead of looking from this side, the other side. So you have 3.464. And the angle, if you add 360, you got 120. Yeah. So that was easy when you have. Yes. Yeah. Because that's the phase voltage and the line voltage, I assume it in angle zero. And in star connection, the line voltage leading the phase voltage by 30 degree, it means that the phase voltage is lagging the line current by 30 degree. So I would negative phase. Yes. Um, the wheel are in the phase voltage by the Because in star connection, the line current equal phase current. If it was delta, it would be different. It would be that the phase and they have to find the conversion. Yes. In star connection. Yes, not in delta. Well, so it looks like you guys are excited about delta. All right. Let's see the delta. Um, this is delta, but this is load. Source. Let's see first what happens if you have source connected from delta. Oh, we'll go to the load. Could be all different. As we learned before, when you do source, um, that's the source, make it like that. But this time it's connected in delta. Single phase circuit in, in, in the lab, then you will start with the three phase. Will be done with the chapter. So that's the delta connection. Let's take, uh, we use small uh, letter or uh, or case A, B, C. So that's the phase. So you can say that the phase V, A, B, V. Positive, negative, positive, negative, positive, negative. And just like that. If you take this uh, direction, A, B, B, C, C, A. And the current. Uh, you can say that the current now is coming out of the source. So that's I, uh, A, and coming out of C, that's I, C, I, B. About the line to line voltage, obviously, this will be. Um, the voltage between A and C. C A. And it depends what, what you're looking for. If you want to keep it the same, so I'll say, okay, I want to, I will look at the voltage V C with respect to A. And between the other two lines here, you have line C, you have line B. That would be voltage between C and the last one between A and B. From delta connection, what do you observe about line voltage and phase voltage? They are equal. If you look between A, C, for example, between A and C, 
the phase, that's phase AC. And the same, it's the line between A and C, the same. So in delta connection, voltage, line to line voltage is equal to phase voltage. Than the Y or star connection. But the current is different. If you look at IA coming out of the generator here, at this junction, what the current yet? From A to B, that will be current IAB. From B to C, IBC. And from C to A, you will have the current I, C, A. So the line current, let me just get one, one current. The line current I, A, for example, is equal to what? If you apply Kirchhoff current law, you can say that this junction, the input is I, uh, C, A. And the output is IA and IAB. That's Kirchhoff current law. If you want to find IA, so you will say IA is equal to ICA minus IAB. True? So IA equal I. How can, what is the relationship between the line and current? First, the phase current in the sequence A, B, C will be, will have I, A, B, I, B, C, I, C, A, they are shifted by 120 degrees. So let's just do that. You have I, A, B, that's the first phase. The second phase, I, B, C. The third, I, C, A. These are the three currents in the phase, A, B, C, sequence A, B, C. I want to find IA, so just I'll check the relationship between I is equal ICA minus AB. CA, that's CA, minus AB. To make minus AB, all what I'm supposed to do is just flip. That's minus the AB. And I add it to CA. So if I add it to CA, I make a program like that. And that would be the resultant which will be I, A. That's I, A. And as you know, we did that before. That's third degree, that third degree. That before, it's just the same. So now you want to find the relationship between line current and phase current. That's line current. And that's phase current. So there is angle difference and there is magnitude. The magnitude obviously is like the same way if we did the same method, you will find the magnitude of IA is bigger than the phase by square root of three. You have the same angle and everything. So line current is bigger than phase current by square root of three. What about the angle? If you look at this angle, you can say that IA is leading IEB by all this angle. What is this angle? 30 degree plus 150, uh, 120 here, because they are 120 between IAB and ICA. So 120 and 30 will be 150. So now we can write IA is equal square root I A B magnitude and the angle if this angle is zero, so you have zero plus 150, 150 degree. So line current is square root of three bigger than the phase current and leading by 150 degree. Means you're adding, you're not subtracting. Of course, you can find the rest of the current. I B would be root three. And, and uh, you can write any current, B, C. What is the angle different here? Uh, actually, I will, I will, I will, all, all the magnitude are the same. So you don't try to, to, to have to write to, 
the magnitude of I, A, B, I, B, C, I, all the same I, we call it I. So let's just call it I. That's the uh, root mean square of phase So IB will be behind IA by, by 120. So you subtract 120, you get 30 degree. Because in any balance three phase, delta or Y, always any line on any phase shifted by 120 degree, behind by 120. So we have IC will be square root of the I, and then you subtract 120 from the 30, you get minus 90. Um, Force at lot. When we are dealing with the load, will be different. I'm not going to make the proof. It's very similar, but the sequence will be different. And I'll tell you why it's different. But do you understand how you how we got the relationship between magnitude line current is bigger than phase current by square root of three, leading phase current by one third. That's the source. What about the load? The picture for the load. Yeah. I will use all of the same sequence. We're going to use uh, A, uh, B, C, the same thing. So you have your A, C. The difference is this is load. So not reducing current, taking current. So that would be IA. IB, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm C, IB. The voltage will be the same. The phase and line voltages are equal, doesn't matter. Delta connection load or source. And the same sequence of current. Of course, we'll assume that Z impedance are equal. So you have the current here A, uh, I, A, B, I, B, C, the same as we did in uh, source. But what's the difference? The difference between load and source that the current is in. So it will change the equation. The in, now we have I, C, A, and I, A, they are in, and the out is I, A, B. You want to find I, A. So I, A will be equal to I, A, B minus I, C, A. I, A, B minus I, C, A. Last time was I, C, A minus A, B, right? So I will just uh, sketch the Phase diagram for the phase current, I, A, B, I, B, C, I, C, A. This time I, A is equal to I, A, B minus I, C, A. Flip I, C, A. And then I complete the parallelogram. That will give me the result, the resultant, which I am. Yes, the magnitude is still bigger. I know that. So I will have I A is equal to root uh, three times I, where this is the magnitude of the phase current. The angle is different. It's below IAB by 30 degrees. So you say, if this is an angle zero, so that will be minus 30. And then you can continue and write the rest of it. 
that the rest will be easy. Minus 20, minus 150. And subtract minus 120, we'll add 120. 90. So as you see, uh, uh, the load connected in delta um, way, you will find uh, the, the same relationship for the voltage, just true, but different than the source. In this time, is lagging by negative thirty. When it's source, it's leading by one fifty. When you go to the lab, how you connect the star and the If you have load, uh, you will have like resistance or inductor, whatever. That's why I'll make it look like a box because you, you have three uh, types of load in the lab. You got uh, resistive, inductive, and capacitive. In, in any, any of them, I'll just uh, represent them as a box. Because you have three of them. How you connect is in parallel. They just let me make the Yes. Because you subtract 120 from each line. Like you see, that's negative 30. How you get negative 150? I subtract 120 because it's balanced three phase. How you get this? Subtract 120, but to make it positive, I add 362. Yes. Example, I did only one example, the star connection. I didn't do the delta. Or you mean the yeah, you, source? Uh, yeah, because if you go. Are you talking about that? Uh, yes, that's what I'm uh, trying to say. What I'm trying to say that the angle of the load will be different than the source because when the current IA in the source coming out, so IA is equal ICA minus AB. Remember that. But when you go for the load, the current is in. So IA is equal IAB minus IC. Okay. So it's flipped. Okay. Yeah. Any question? So when you go to the lab, you have uh, uh, three loads for each phase. How you connect the star? How you connect the delta? Let me make the same. I will do the, in the top one as a star. It's very simple. All what's supposed to do? A beginning and end. If you say that is A, that's A dash. B, B dash. C, C dash. And that's even when, what you, when you go to industry, you'll find they have motors and they have the terminals exactly like that. They have switch here, switch here, then you got to connect it and start. You just connect this one by this one, and you just make short circuit on the end of the three. You got to start. So this is why connect. And these are the terminals that you, if you want to supply current, you connect it to the source because you have a three phase source. Then you connect this to the source. Because most of the motors and generators in industry uh, three phase, all big motors three phase, and the input will go there to the ABC. How you connect delta? You have A, A dash, B, B dash, C, C dash. You connect the beginning of one block to the end of the second one, like that. That's A connected to B dash. C dash. C, you connect to the other one. So C, A dash. And this of the terminal that we you the supply. That would be this. If you rearrange to find, uh, they make it nice. But this is how you do that. 
So I, why I'm saying that? Because when you go to the lab, uh, after one week, you do the, the, the connection. So that's the way that you're going to make the connection for delta. Star is easy, but delta usually is confusing. Okay. Let's take one example in delta. But before I, I do the example in delta, there is something. It was nice and easy when we have the star connected load and we take only one phase and we work on one phase. It's always easy. I don't know if you, if you have circuit two, you work, if you work with three phase, it's, it's a hassle when you work with every single phase. To, it's just like you have like two circuits working at the same time. But making that, and we don't have to go back and do this difficult way because always we're going to use balance load. All impedances are equal. All voltage magnitudes are equal, shifted by 120. So I, I would like to use one equivalent phase. But what about delta? You cannot just take delta and you will say, I'm going to take this phase. It was easy for Y because you have here, the phase are separated, but they're neutral. You don't have neutral for delta. You cannot take it. And there is a way, there is a way, but it's a hard way. You're going to have like solving two, three circuits. But there is a way. Do you have idea what's the way to make it easy and simple like the star connected load? The circuit, like, let me just give you an example. If I, if I take the same problem here and I ask you, okay, just solve it and get the, the current in every line. Let's load and then I'm going to connect it to source. And to find the current, line current. And the impedance are given. Let me just give you a uh, numerical example. So, how to make an easy way like what we did. Let's say the impedance is equal 5 on angle, negative 30 ohm. Let's say the voltage is the same as we did last time. It's one, uh, the, the line to line voltage, 120 volts. I'm just going to give you a hint, and then you can do it at home. This is the line voltage, 120. How do you solve this? And you have that? Yes. That. So the best way to do it, convert it to Y. So you can have the neutral. If you do it in, uh, if you convert in Y, it'll be something like that. The equivalent Y. What? Oh, it make big difference. If you have it connected to Y, so that will be like, uh, uh, if this is A, B, that would be the neutral. So you can take only this phase. Let me sketch it nicely now. The equivalent star. And I'm still keeping the terminal A, B, C, they don't change. I just change what's inside. Nicely. That's the equivalent, Y, and I have the points A, B, and these are the lines. We have two questions. First question, what is the value of the ambience? Because obviously it's not the same. Delta is five over 30. Five over thirty. Yeah, just assume five over thirty. So it's impossible. You can say this five over thirty. Not the same. So what you're supposed to do in circuit two, you learn how to convert from delta star from star to delta. Why? Right? I'm not going to go through the hustle, but 
because we have a nice system, balance, was in balance, all three impedances are equal. When you want to convert it to Y, just divide it by three. So to make it easy, so let's change its example. Um, give a nice number. I will say uh, six over 30 degrees. Just when you divide it by three, be easy. So if you divide by three, so the equivalent ZY would be equal six on angle 30 divided by three, you'll get two angle 30 ohm. That's the first step. Second step, you are going to take equivalent one phase. So you'd have to find that value of the phase voltage. It was given 120, uh, 120 voltage for line to line. As we did last example, what we did, we said that if you have the, the line voltage is equal 120, and we're going to make it in zero, and then we to find the, the, the phase, the magnitude will be what? 120 divided by 3. Why? I'm trying to find that. And then, what about the angle? As we did exactly last time. You, that's, that's line to line zero, and then the phase will be like uh, shifted by 30, negative 30, right? I th yes, negative 30. So about negative 30. And then you solve, you find the current. It's easy, of course, now to, to find the current, but you are finding the current here. Find the current in this phase, right? It would be the same. So I A is the voltage of the phase. Uh, that's the phase A N divided by Z Y. That's one. 20 over root 3. I think we found the value of 20. I don't remember. 6 to 9. Okay, good memory. 6 to 9. Point 0.8 and angle negative 30 divided by um, Z is equal to an angle 30. Just, I mean, I will change it, make it negative 30 just to. Make life easy, negative 30. So it would cancel. We have it easy number. So point eight by two thirty four point nine angle zero. And that's IA. Can you find I B I C? Yes, you can. I B twenty and I C will be thirty four point nine angle one twenty plus that's I A I B I C. Question is determine line current and phase current. The load was not going to start. Why did that? I just did that to make it easy for me to solve it. So I found the line current, so I have to go back to the delta and I put the value that I got. I got A, B, I, A, I, I'm sorry, I, A, I got 34.9. Angle zero, that's I, A. Uh, that's I, C, because that's C, that's A, that's C, that's B. I got I, B the same will be equal to 34.9 angle negative 120 ic equal 34.9 angle plus 120 and the question now i want to find the phase it's enough to find one phase let me look for ia because of that before we know the sequence is just going in this direction so this current will be iab and if you remember, uh, that will be IBC and that's ICA. Now, 
you have to find the relationship you can do it again or just use the result that we did what what we did before in load we found the relationship between line current and test current right what was the relationship that we did use relationship between line current and phase current line current is bigger than phase current in delta by square root of three and lagging the phase current if the line current lagging phase current so what the phase current leading i tell you right so i will say i back here I want to find IAB. IAB is the phase current. Smaller than line current by square root of three. So I will say IAB uh, equal the magnitude of the line 34.9 divided by square root of three. And the angle is lagging or leading. The phase. Let me just go back again. I, I don't I have a short name. I have to make sure that I get it right. Hey, oh, here you go. Uh, that's the line current. That's the phase. So the line current lagging. So this will be leading. So I add. I add that leading. All right. So I go and I will. I will add zero. I add to the zero thirty degrees. And that will be the the, the the first phase current. 34.9 over square root of three. Let me just put it. It's got 20.1. Say 20. So it's almost 20. Angle 30. And that's IED, the phase current in delta. So the rest of it, let me write here the answer IAB, IBC, ICA. That's 20. Angle 30, that's 20, subtract negative 120 and negative 90, that's 20. You can add 120, so you have negative 9, negative 120. If you make it negative, negative 210. If you subtract 120. If you want to make it positive, you add 360. We have 20, 60. That would be 150. Both are right. Okay. So that's how we calculate it in delta connection. So we used, uh, we took advantage of uh, the star connection to use only one diagram, one phase. Yes. Oh, I get 150. Uh, negative 90. Ah, uh, negative 90, I, sub I say 30, because that, you see, that's IAB. Then behind IAB by 120 degree, IBC, and then ICA. So IAB, uh, IBC is behind IAB by 120, so I say 30 minus 120. It will give me minus 90. Any question? Yes. I divided the line magnitude by square root of three. That's here you go. I, in this step, thirty-four point nine divided by square root of three. Any question? You understand the delta connection source? I'll, I will upload the. I think I upload it. So make sure that you understand it, and because maybe I will give, I'll give you quiz online. After I study the subject, I'll give you like a couple of days. So maybe Monday I'll give you a quiz online. Save the time in the lecture. And we'll continue where uh, what's left in the three phase system. That's just the basic. I know you got it in circuit two, but I want to make sure you understand. I want to make sure. So next time I'm going to show you something that you're going to use in the lab how to measure the power in three phase system using three watt meters and two watt meters. The most famous one, two watt meters, and I have lab. Already, I prepared the lab manual for you for using two watt meter. This is what's used in industry, two watt meter method. And then we'll explain how to use the capacitor to improve the power factor 
for load uh, that uh, it's lagging and has a poor power pack. And that will be done with three phase. So I think maybe it will take next week and we'll be done with it. Then we'll move to the magnetic circuit, we'll go to the machine and transfer. Any question? All right. I just like to remind you, please try to practice before the course coming or the course.